So you're thinking about a tethered jailbreak. Great, that's, you know, iOS 5 only has a tethered jailbreak option, so it's really the only thing you can do if you really need those jailbreak apps and tweaks. However, it looks all well and good right now when you can open Cydia and, you know, do whatever you want. Um, but the problem is that a lot of stuff still doesn't work because there's no official jailbreak release and people are still updating their jailbreak apps and tweaks for iOS 5. Come on, Cydia, we don't care. Um, and things are, you know, sometimes a little buggy. Right now, everything's working okay. But Cydia tends to crash now and then when you're queuing stuff and, um, and, and certain things don't work. I've had trouble, for example, with BT Stack. I've heard of other people having some issues with uh, Activator, which is kind of a big one. If you know, if you're familiar with Activator, it's used in a lot of different jailbreak apps and tweaks, so you need to, I mean, that compatibility is kind of important. Now, that will change over time as, as things get better, but let's talk about what happens when things are not good with the Tether jailbreak. Like, for example, if you need to shut down your iPad or it freezes and you need to restart it or whatever. I'm going to turn this off and right now on the downside it's uh, it's tethered so it's not going to boot up perfectly but it is. I do have semi-tether installed which is a nice option that will at least let you boot up and have some functionality but we're going to take a look at um, what that functionality is actually like first and then after we do that we will take a look at the booting tethered process which you know you you un you think okay I have to plug it and press a button um, you actually, it, it takes a few minutes and you have to go through what seems like about half of the jailbreak process. It's not awful, but, you know, it's not great. Okay, so we are booted normally. Um, and you can see City is still there and stuff. And just open it up. Nope, not going to happen. What about, say, Safari? Nope, not going to happen. So we can access stuff like the music app and we can get into the app store and so you can use you know stuff that you've got so that's cool but you don't have your jailbreak stuff isn't going to work too well on the but the nice thing is you could use a third party browser or whatever okay so now let's see what we have to do to boot this thing tethered first take care of the tethered part make sure that it's connected and then you want to make sure your device is off which it probably is if you are trying to you know do a tethered boot. So off it goes. In the meantime, go on your computer and open up Red Snow or whatever the jailbreak application you want to use is and then go to extras and then you want to go to just boot which is where you'll end up just booting. It'll give you a little bit of a warning there saying you know you're gonna have to enter DFU mode and make sure your device is off and plugged in and all of that which is the case. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I need both hands to do this. You've probably done this before if you've jailbroken, so this should seem pretty familiar. Now to do it, you need to put on the power button and hold down the home button when you see the Apple logo. And then you're going to wait about 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, you're going to let your finger off of the power button. That's going to happen when the Apple logo goes away. You're going to continue holding down the home button, however, and you're going to do that until you see on your screen that your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch is getting exploded, exploited excuse me, with uh, Lime Rain or whatever. And then it's going to wait for a reboot. Your iPad's going to reboot. You missed It flashed for a second. You missed that. And there is the jailbreak pineapple. So there it is properly. Um, so there we have it. We are booting tethered. It takes a minute and a little bit of effort on your part, but you know, if you're really desperate for that jailbreak, well, there you go. Now you can, now you can do it. Just, you know, we're gonna let this boot all the way so you can see how long it takes. Um, and this is what you're going to be dealing with if you decide to jailbreak tethered. If that's cool with you, then excellent. I'm just trying to think of things to say until it boots. There we go. And now we're in, and now we can open Cydia properly and all of that. So things are back to normal. If you don't mind doing that. Go for the tethered jailbreak. If you do mind doing that, you should wait.